Comcast Time Warner deal got blocked in 2015 after the uh, Comcast NBCU deal. You're saying that historical precedent with NBCU is going to be work against AT&T, which stock I own, by the way, uh, in this deal going forward. Right. Comcast's acquisition of NBC um, back in 2010 or 2011 is sort of the boogeyman in this case because the Justice Department put behave and the FCC put behavioral remedies in place. So they said, you, you know, Comcast can't use its new leverage to try to stifle innovation from online upstarts. But that's a really difficult thing to try to It's like enforce. saying don't be competitive. Well, right. I well, mean, the, the market has changed so much. It's just not the same market that it was 10 years ago. Exactly. When, when you look at the players out there today. The landscape is changing dramatically, and that's part of the reason why AT&T wants to own Time Warner, because they're trying to put together a different type of competitor to Facebook, Amazon, Google, all of these new tech companies that are taking our attention for hours yeah. upon hours every but single if day. But if you are a free market person and you look at the Justice Department, which, by the way, it is shocking that this is happening under a Republican president. Presidency. We should point out maybe with we would kind of expect this maybe from a, a more liberal president. But with, when it comes to creative content, there's so many creative people out there. You could just say that, well, HBO isn't the gold standard anymore. You've got you have all these other content providers, even Netflix, even Amazon are creating their own content. So why put such restrictions on AT&T buying this? Because creative people can just go out there and start their own content company. Yeah, absolutely. If they have the money, and look how much money Netflix is spending. And Amazon. And Amazon. And, even, yeah. and how about Apple? Apple could start pouring money into content and pouring money into programming if they felt like it. Absolutely, they have been. I mean, and. and all the tech companies are rushing to Hollywood trying to build their new hits. Amazon has had a lot of success doing this. I mean, the, the whole industry is in this dramatic change. And you're not only competing against the tech companies that are creating new high-end content, you're also competing against some person who has a really funny Instagram account that they're posting jokes on because young people especially are spending the vast majority of their time scrolling through feeds on Instagram or Snapchat. My, my kids watch YouTube as a media source. That, that's where they go, yeah. right? And your point, this, it is really, really surprising that this is a Republican uh, argument that they're making. Uh, you know, th th this is an antitrust case under Republican administration. Vertical mergers, which this is, are historically not challenged by the government. So, Macon Delrahim, the new antitrust chief, outlined in his speech last week essentially a whole new way of thinking about antitrust deals, where he's saying that historically what the Justice Department and what regulators have done is try to say, well, there are pot potential harms of this consolidation, so let's put these behavioral remedies in place. But isn't this just a distributor buying supply? I mean, I really believe it's just a matter of time for Amazon or Facebook or, or Google buys NFL rights. And it's what Fox Sports sure. did in the, in the 90s, and it made, made those companies. It's just the distributor buying supply. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't it's understand it. how this is different in this case. Well, what they're saying is that you can use that supply as a cudgel against your rival. So DirecTV is important here because DirecTV competes with Comcast and Spectrum and every other cable company out there. So if you raise the price of that input for your rivals, they either have to raise their prices to their consumers or they get into a contract dispute and there's a blackout, at which point DirecTV could come in and say, switch to DirecTV, we'll give you a deal, we'll give you a deal on your wireless service, so then they're going to steal... Uh, Does the deal uh, go through then if they divest something like DirecTV? Yeah, I mean, DirecTV seems Well, yeah, that was what the Justice like the Department offered. Right? Direct, divest DirecTV or divest Turner, which is all the cable channels. So, I mean, that's a non-starter for AT&T. They want to put these assets together. That's kind of the whole point. But can I raise the issue? Is it just that a Netflix or an Amazon that might not want this deal to happen? Do they just have better lobbyists than, than AT&T does? Well, that, that, it, because there's always that power game in the swamp that's going on that we on the outside can't really see. Yeah, somebody, an antitrust expert, told me once, uh, don't ever underestimate the power of politics uh, in these types of things. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you're seeing it, it, Amazon and a lot of the tech companies have sort of been swirling around. There was rumors for a while that maybe Apple was going to buy Disney or maybe Amazon is in the market for 21st Century they Fox. They want content. But they're, they may just decide, you know what, we're gonna, it's, it's cheaper and better and more effective without going through this, just build it ourselves. You know, I mean, Hollywood and, and content creation, it's all a kind of acquirable talent because talent is what makes content. It's not so much the companies themselves yeah. these days, especially when it's so easy to publish new yeah. content. Pay right. up and they'll step up <laughs> in terms of the creatives. And which is why all eyes are on Fox's content right, right now.
uh, as uh, as talks there continue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you can't. I mean, you can't do a deal now. I mean, this lawsuit is going to freeze all kinds of M&A talks until it's resolved. Because, does this wow. freeze a Fox a Fox deal? Even though Fox is, it's all entertainment. Yeah, I think it does. It does, huh? Because I think that it would be very difficult if you're a distributor to say, well, we want to own content when a major distribution content deal is actively being sued. But, but Fox uh, selling to Disney, that would be content to content. Well, right, that would be a horizontal That's merger. So, both, so if, you're, if you're an investor in a media company right now or you're CEO of a media company, you're watching the bundle start to melt before your eyes. But your That's exit... It. Is been effectively blocked right now. Yeah. Wow. Great stuff, Ryan. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks for having me. For your expertise on that, Ryan Knudsen from the Wall Street Journal.